Oh, I gotta put this back together. This one goes here. I guess that goes there. I need some duct tape. Howdy. There's been a couple good videos about dry pouring concrete for slabs. Much of the applications demonstrated have been for smaller slabs, such as a 4x4, something like a chicken coop. I want to test the question of can you use it for a concrete pier. So right here I have an 8 inch form tube, also known as a sauna tube. And we're going to try to use the dry pour concrete method to fill this guy. This is going to be a more heavy duty application for construction. We're going to set this guy above ground. We're going to bury it just a couple inches and see how it behaves. Then we're going to cut it open and we're going to inspect the concrete to see if it's fully cured. Now I know what you're thinking. This is supposed to be in the ground all the way. Well, I don't really need it for any structure. I'm just testing it. We're going to start by pouring half a bag of concrete in here. I'm using 60 pound bags. This tube takes about 3.2 60 pound bags to fill. Now I'm a little bit vertically challenged, so I'm gonna use a stump to step on so I can pour the bag in. And we're gonna do half a bag at a time, meanwhile adding water in between those layers. And then we're gonna try to stir it with a piece of rebar. Now normally when you're doing a dry pour concrete, you're going to want to use the mist setting. However, since this isn't a cone and you're not really concerned with the texture, I'm going to go ahead and use it on the cone setting because I think that's going to get the most area wet evenly. Now I'm going to mix it with this piece of rebar. It's on to bag number two. I'm gonna finish pouring the second bag of concrete. Now I haven't poured water into this one yet, but I want to show you how the water is penetrating to that top layer of the concrete. Now it could have been that it's soaked up some of the water from the sides. However, I think it's the excess water that was sitting on that top layer and when I poured the concrete in, it started to soak it up. As you can see, it's penetrating all the way to the top. So this gives me a lot of hope that this project is actually going to turn out pretty well. And just like before, we're going to soak it and then mix it. We have one more bag left. So we finished filling the tube form uh, and that took about maybe 20 minutes to do two and a half bags. You've also noticed that I haven't wetted the outside of the tube because I would be cheating. Normally this tube is submerged below the ground level. If you do have space around it, feel free to wet the ground around it. We're gonna let it cure for about 24 hours and see what it looks like on the inside. We're gonna cut off this cardboard, expose it, and then we're gonna try to break it apart and go ahead and inspect it, see what it looks like. You can see that there's a light gray color on the concrete. That's a pretty good indication that this upper layer is fully dry and hardened. And it's also peeling away from the edge of the tube form, which is another indication that the tube form itself is ready to come off. So overall, I would say that the condition of this pier looks pretty solid. I'm sure there's a couple of places where the concrete's not perfectly smooth, it didn't completely adhere to the tube form, but otherwise, it seems pretty well mixed. There aren't any dry pockets that immediately stand out. There's a little bit of, a, of some surface cosmetic defects up at the top, but I think that's more my fault uh, from applying too much water at the top layer. Now we're going to do the first test, and that's going to be drilling an anchor bolt at the top. We're going to see if uh, it supports the stress of being drilled into with a half inch drill bit.
that seems to hold up. There's not any fracturing around the hole. So that's pretty consistent with what I expect with drilling a hole into concrete. Now I'm just going to tap on the structure lightly and I'm going to feel for any hollow spots. And I think what happened here is I got lazy towards the top. The bottom is much more well mixed in. That's enough of that. Let's go ahead and cut it open. Overall, it looks like pretty good consistency throughout the entire cut. There's some minor, minor air pockets right here. The very bottom of this structure, of this pier, is pretty well mixed in, at least on this small cut that we did. I just noticed something pretty disturbing. So I think it can be fixed with rebar and better mixing. Let me show you what I mean. Well, that's interesting. That's no good. There's a big old dry pocket right there. I don't have a jackhammer, but I do have a 16 pound sledgehammer. Let's break it open. So we can learn a lot from these two cross sections. Right here we have one hole. And there we have another one. Same as down here. The water was channeling downward and didn't refill that cavity. And that's about halfway down the form. Now is this going to absolutely destroy the structural integrity of this tube? I don't think so. Seeing as how the majority of this round is perfectly mixed and it looks like it's all pretty well cured too. I don't think these two little pockets are really going to sacrifice the entire structural integrity of these piers. Let's work some more on that other piece and see what we can find at the bottom. Now this is on the very bottom piece and I almost missed it. Looks like there's a small cavity right there. just an air pocket. To me this is a viable option. I really don't want to rent a cement mixer and uh, honestly I don't feel like mixing concrete outside and then pouring it into the sauna tube. Really it's a big wear on my back. Sure we need to improve a little bit. Obviously put some rebar in there that'll increase the structural integrity of it and maybe uh, finding out a better way to mix it. The single piece of rebar worked to, to mix some of it. However we do have these air pockets which are a little bit concerning. I think we can get around that with a pretty easy option. If you guys have any ideas, let me know, and maybe we'll include it in the next video. Thanks for watching.